Alrighty, in this video, we'll run over how to import search tracks, previous flight routes into Flight Hub 2 by using air data. So first off, we'll need to get the logs from the controller to the air data platform with Flight Hub 2 compatible aircrafts being the M30 and M300, I'm going to be using this Mark Troy Enterprise or the RC Plus. So you can follow the instructions here in order to download. And then after that, we'll be able to see the air data app directly on the smart controller page for you can open up. Within there, you're able to enable auto sync of the flight logs or just sync data as you would like. So when you go ahead and open that app up, you'll see that there's three bars in the top left. And then from there, you'll be able to sync those logs to the air data platform. If you're not going to install the app, your other route to get to the records is clicking on the files tab. So you're going to the files directly on the controller itself. And then once you open the file section up, you'll need to go to DJI, com.dji.industry.pilot, and then flight record is kind of the file path. And then within there, you'll see the TXT files, which is the flight records generated by the DJI pilot app, which is what needs to go onto air data. So you could copy and paste these to an SD card, USB drive plugged into the controller, and then manually upload those to air data. But after we've gone ahead and uploaded our files to air data, you can see them both here. You can go ahead and check them both on the left side, group the flights, say create new, save, and then you'll be able to export a group camo, which is just super convenient. Then on the Flight Hub 2 side, you can go ahead and click import. You need to enable downsampling most likely. We'll import the KML file that we had just downloaded. Click OK. And then you'll now see the flight track. 